After Hours. Friday, but a day away and untouchable on Top and G. American Idol 3 winning big as yet another sacrificial lamb is put down before millions. Nearly 22 million viewers tuned in last night to watch pink-haired Amy Adams get the news that she is no American Idol, then gets to sing just one last time. There's trouble in Springfield. According to Daily Variety, the six main actors who provide the voices of your favorites on The Simpsons are striking. Over the next two weeks, the actors have have not shown up for two script readings. It's holding up production, and it's seen as a bid to force a settlement of lengthy contract renewal talks. No comment from Big Fox. Billionaire adventurer Sir Richard Branson getting a reality show on Big Fox. It's tentatively called Branson's Big Adventure. Yeah, it'll find the billionaire with a select group of America's best and brightest traveling the globe. He'll relive some of his experiences with them and deal with some business scenarios. Each week, one apprentice, sorry, traveler, will be left behind. MTV swears this is not an April Fool's joke. You decide. Punked is returning to the cable net. In December, Ashton Kutcher announced the candid camera-style show would be ending after two seasons. Now MTV says he was lying. Maybe, like some have pointed out, the lie was just a ploy to make celebrities drop their guards, but the new season is set to begin April 25th. If we still had a nerd alert, this would be one. Enterprise, the fourth Star Trek series, not doing too well over on UPN. In fact, its future remains pretty murky. Suits there are still deciding whether they'll renew the thing. If they don't, it'll be the first Trek to get the axe since the original. So how do you pump up interest in a flagging show? Well, if you're William Shatner, you bring back Kirk. According to Cinescape, Shatner says he has a great sci-fi way to get the captain back into the fold and onto the new series but says he won't reveal anything till UPN makes up its mind. It's April Fool's Day, and instead of pulling one over on you, here's what the Russian paper Pravda has voted as the best hoodwinking of an audience by its newscasters. In the year 1957, the BBC reported on the incredible pasta harvest in Switzerland, informing viewers about the hassles faced by the Swiss pasta farmers, like the pesky pasta weevil. Of course, tons of people called, asking about special methods of growing pasta. Silly, really. Everyone knows that pasta is mined from the Mariani's Trench. CNN is cool. April Fool. Your G-Block quick hits. Just kidding, they're our friends. Cue the crack-ups and the ear tugs. Carol Burnett to rejoin the co-stars from her old show for another nostalgic clip show next month. Mark your calendar. Looks like having the Oscars a month early worked out this year. Getting word from the Academy that they will do it again in 05. The awards to be handed out on 27 Feb. Kevin Sorbo's wife with the Herculean task of delivering their new child. The son weighed 12 and a half pounds at birth. No comment from a red-faced Zeus. And on this date in the year 1853, Cincinnati became the first American city to pay its firefighters a regular salary. And now, you know the news of April Fool's Day 2004. See you back here tomorrow. Until then, as the war continues, stay brave, stay aware, stay with Fox. The Fox Report with Shepard Smith, a presentation of Fox News Channel, the network America trusts.